my name is Jennifer Pham and today I will be giving you a presentation on Canva and how it is used in the public relations setting. So just to introduce a little bit about Canva, it is an app or software that helps in creating graphics, presentations, and flyers. It was launched in Australia in 2013. Currently, it is being used in 190 different countries. 100 languages are used, and also their values are simplicity, so keeping it simple, accomplishing goals, uh, positivity, and empowerment. So Canva can be used in public relations. It's one of a, the uh, common softwares used for public relations. Um, so public relations is responsible for representation of a company or product. So if, with my experience, I have been um, public relations chair for different organizations at USF. Um, so, uh, one thing is uh, last year, I was public relations chair for the Vietnamese Student Association at USF and I used Canva quite a bit whenever I had to make graphics or any promotional posts that we had to post on social media. So I could, I could say from my experience that Canva has helped me fulfill my responsibility as public relations. Uh, Canva can help keep text to a minimum uh, depending on the template that you choose. There's different templates you can choose, so um, whatever floats your boat you can use, but um, it also has places for different texts, so you can keep text to a minimum so it can engage the audience more. Um, there's unique creations because there's a lot of variability and it's very customizable. And also, there's a lot of different conveying graphics and images. So when you search in Canva for images, there's a lot of different types of uh, pictures you can use. I just want to show you a little bit about what Canva is like. So this is Canva, um, the home page. There's templates and projects. And then these are different uh, layouts you can have. And these were some of my previous works that I have made. Um, I will show you an example of um, one of the uh, projects I made for this class. So it was an infographic. So what I did was I searched for infographic templates and these were some templates that popped up. There's a lot of different templates. The only con about this, uh, about Canva is um, there are some that you cannot use unless you have Canva Pro, which you pay a little bit more for. But other than that, Canva is very affordable because there's still a lot of different um, things you can do with just Canva free. So this was the template I chose for my infographic. And this was what I created from that template. So since I liked every, pretty much the color scheme and everything of this graphic, um, of this template, I only changed the content, so my information and uh, graphics on here. So this is pretty much what it looks like, and this is very helpful um, for public relations um, people, since um, it's important to have good branding and get um, good word for your brand or your company or your product across. So Canva can help keep um, everything simple and it's a great space for creativity. So in conclusion, it's a good um, place for all your creative works. Um, it's very customizable. Um, there's a lot of tools and templates you can play around with and it's super easy to use. Um, when I used Canva, it did not take me long to figure everything out, unlike some other apps and softwares. So I think this is easy to use and super useful in public relations. So that is all I have for my Canva presentation. Um, this is the source page and thank you for listening. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.